You're rebooting ALF before you reboot Sliders? I don't understand this. No. No. It's ridiculous. Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where charming guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Jerry O'Connell. Jerry. What an honor. What's up? Let's see. Ooh, double kiss. Ooh, we're fancy. Hand kissing. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Let's see what's on. Ready? All right. Oh, there we go. That would be Stand By Me. That's right. That's me there. And you play. I played Vern Tessio. That's right. Oh, this is the famous leech scene. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's so funny to watch. I had so much fun with these guys, man. Man, this show really is great. You really do get like kind of nostalgic doing like a, a DVD commentary on this. This is what we do. That was here. all makeup. They were all rubber leeches that they put on us. We had Rob Reiner on the couch a few weeks I ago, know. and he talked all about this film and how much he loved working with you all. You know, it was so he was so great with us, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until I was older that, like, looking back, I realized how good he was. The first scene I filmed on Stand by Me, I had never been on a movie set, and. It's a fight scene between Corey Feldman and another guy. And they said action, and we filmed what they call the master, which is like the wide shot, right. you know? Mm -hmm. So we shot the master, and Rob Reiner said cut, and then came up to me and said, what are you doing here? And I went, what do you mean, what am I doing? Like, I'm not doing anything. And he went, yeah, you're not. And I went, well, I don't have any lines in this scene, so I don't have anything to do. And he was like, no, man, you're... You have to listen to everything that's happening. If there was a fight going on, you'd be concerned. Like, I need you to react to that. You're as important as him, as him, as him. Mm. I direct sometimes, and I directed a kid's show called Andy Mac, which is on the Disney Channel right now. Shout out to all my Andy Mac friends. So um, it's so funny. When I was working on Andy Mac, one of the teenagers was in the background, and um, they weren't reacting to what was happening. And I went up to them, and I said, hey, you know, we're seeing you in this scene. And they said, oh, well, I'm not doing anything. And I went, yeah, you are. Like, all this stuff is happening. And they said, well, I don't have any lines. And I was like, <gasps> I said, circle moment. I said, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're as much a part of the scene as everyone. And it really was like a, it was like a, it was a really emotional <laughs> moment for me. And they were like, what's wrong with you? Are, are you okay? And I was like, no, I can't. No, I'm not. I'm not okay. And it's really like, it was really like passing it. I mean, yeah. But Rob was a man. Rob was a master. All right, next project. Oh, look at my hair. Look at your hair. Turn my cooked up. Boom. Look at sliders. It's pretty cool. That's uh, me playing my doppelganger. Get up yourself. Yeah, look how different those two characters are. <laughs> it's crazy to watch. Look at my hair. It's so funny. I told my wife recently. I was like, I think I want to like grow my hair out, and she was like, Yeah, like you and sliders in the '90s. No thanks. <laughs> this was actually pretty beloved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's one of those day. that could be up for a reboot. Could you see something like that happening? And would yeah. you be on board? I would love to. I hope right. it. Um, I hope it happens. I like that. By the way, they're rebooting Alf. Why don't they reboot Sliders? They're what a joke. <laughs> Next project. <laughs> you know, I told myself. Oh, this is gonna be a good up. one. Yeah. This is a classic. I put on a lot of weight for this. You put on about up. 20 pounds. It was like I had to um, really lift weights. I'd never really lifted before that. A lot of people yell that at me sometimes. Hey, I'll surf or ski. You were a newbie on set, so you sort of, I read, you just walked in there, you kept your head down, did your work. I, you know, it, if I had known then what I know now, I would have like really cherished every moment. Mm. But like that was one of my earlier experiences. So I was like, oh, this is what it's always like. It's always like. Tom Cruise and Cameron Crowe giving amazing directions, and <laughs> Tom Cruise being super friendly. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. I like showbiz. <laughs> this is easy. This, this is a piece of cake. But um, it's uh, it's not always Definitely like that. Definitely not a piece of cake. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, next project. Oh man, this is so crazy. I Don't. think I love you. Don't do oh my God. I think I love you. Isn't that what life is? This is so <laughs> embarrassing. There's Rebecca Gayhart and Portia de Rossi. There's Timothy Oliphant. Uh -huh. What a star studded cast. That's right. There's, oh God, this is so embarrassing. I'm afraid that I'm not sure um, we're, we're going to see my good buddy John Beam in this. There he is. He's an extra in the back in the frat shirt. He's a, one of my best friends who lived in Atlanta. <laughs> He's so funny. There he is. That's my friend Beam. Um, it, um, so how did you land this part in this franchise? How, how did I get? I think Jerry Maguire had just come out and it was a big hit. And you know, I was sort of riding that wave. 
Oh man, I remember we shot this in Atlanta and it was really hot out and I was sweating so much in the scene. I had to keep changing my shirt just because I was... Oh, come on, look at Tim on my... He's still a good friend of mine. This is so weird watching this. Um, oh God, look how young I look. There were a lot of romances on this set. Uh, um, David Sa and Courtney, did you have a little? Oh yes. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, that little couple. Sarah Michelle Geller Prinz mm -hmm. um, was on there. We did date afterwards. Who? Nothing. You and Sarah. Uh, Sarah. Sarah Michelle and I did date, not during shooting. We would have never uh, um, complicated uh, work and pleasure relationships um, <laughs> in case. Uh, there's like a human resources department still somehow involved with that shoot. I just want you to know everything was above board. <laughs>
You know, when you play a cop on TV, this is going to make me sound like a psycho and you're going to report me, but you do like sort of feel like a police officer. When you put the badge on and have a gun, yeah. like you do find yourself like at work, like like directing traffic, like, hey, you you can't park here. <laughs> Could I be a cop? No, no. Their, their jobs are like way too <laughs> important and they deal with like real things. I just no, like... No, we want you out. Just yeah, I just had to look, I had, just had to look pretty and do the Irish dancing with... Uh, <laughs> The you got to fight Alf. You don't have time to be a real I'm, call. I'm calling you out, Alf. He's coming for you, Alf. Thank you so much for being here, Jerry. Thanks for sitting this by so me. Ah. <laughs> this was so fun. This was a blast. I Thank really you. enjoyed this. You it were was awesome. sort of a fun... Uh... Carter airs Tuesdays at 10, 9 Central on WGN America. See you next week on Count Surfing. Bye.